The Gluten-Free and Wellness Expo is coming up the end of September. It's already here. We're excited. And today, we're going to give you a little sneak peek of what they have to offer. We're talking about no-bake oatmeal energy bites. And, of course, joining us with all the details about the expo and um, cooking up these healthy snacks is Hillary Hansen with Whole Foods. And then we have Casey Pomeroy with G Free Foodie, two of my favorite ladies in the whole world, and not just because they bring snacks and food every Friday. <laughs> uh, Casey, the Wellness Expo. But it helps. Yes, it does. <laughs> Help. Uh, the expo is coming up. This is very exciting. I remember talking about it several months ago. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And here we are. It's this month, September mm -hmm. 27th, from 10 to 4, free for people to attend at Whole Foods. Yes. Hillary will be doing some cooking demos. I will yeah. be the crew from the painted table. Um, it's presented by Mary's Free Range Chicken. She's getting big too. She. It's. Right? Yeah. We're, yeah. That, that's a local brand to be incredibly yeah. proud of. And yeah. there'll be yeah. lots of local farmers, ha Hamilton Ranches, Rosenthal Olive Ranch. So if you want to talk to some farmers about some local food, if you want to talk to the Metal Mark crew about, you know, mountain climbing, all kinds of gluten-free information, food information, and info about living well. Yeah, and that's the most important thing, I think. And a lot of people live well by eating gluten-free. And today we are making these wonderful energy bites where they're, you don't have to bake them. No. They're, and they're yeah. gluten-free. And they're gluten -free. are they easy to make, Hillary? Let's they're get really started. They're really easy. So you just need to grab a few ingredients at your local okay. market. We have, um, we're going to start with some gluten-free oats. Mm -hmm. And Casey can probably tell you a little bit more about gluten-free oats. Um, there is a difference between regular and gluten-free. Oh, really? And so we're going to start off with just, and you can use a quick cooking oat or a regular oat. These are quick cooking. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add all our dry ingredients first. So I've got okay. some sesame seeds, raw sesame seeds. Okay. I've got some sunflower seeds. And um, the dry ingredients here, I've got just little mini chocolate chips, or okay. you can use carob chips, okay. whatever you like. Some raisins, again, substitute cranberries if you want to, if you don't like raisins. And then a little bit of cinnamon and some salt. And we're going to add that. Okay. And we're going to mix that up. And then we're going to, we have all our wet ingredients over here. So this is some sun butter, uh, which is actually made of sunflower seeds. I love sunflower butter. Me too. Yeah. And it's great when, um, this is a great kid's snack, but mm -hmm. also a great, you know, one for you if you're going to grab a couple before you go to the gym, you know, a little bit of fuel. Oh, right. And um, some people want to avoid nuts. Um, mm -hmm. I am allergic to almonds. So um, I can do peanut butter, I can do cashew butter, which I love, um, or we can do sun butter, particularly if you have children at home that want to avoid nuts or you, yeah. you're sending something to school and somebody might have a nut allergy, mm -hmm. sun butter is a great alternative. Now, what is it? What is this that you put so in there? So that was some molasses and a little bit of vanilla. Okay. I like molasses. They're, it's full of iron. Um, you could surely sweeten it with maybe a... Uh, a brown rice syrup, okay. um, and then a little bit of honey. Okay. And so we're just going to get, you know, mix this up, and then we're going to add it to our dry ingredients and create kind of like a cookie dough. Okay. And then what I do is I take part of the oats and some of the sunflower seeds and blend it up here, um, just into a, like a nice little powder. You guys can see that right here. And this is I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to form these into little balls. Okay, or, so hold on bites. a second. Back up, back yeah. up, Hillary. Okay. What is this now? This is this? Okay, no. so I've actually, I took a half a cup of oats ha and about a fourth a cup of sunflower seeds, and I just ground it up into oh. a nice little powder. Oh, uh, this because, is separate. Because what okay. happens is these become really sticky, okay. and I don't know if you guys can see these here, but they have this just little nice white powder so you can pick them up so they're not sticky. Oh, and that's what this is. Yes. Exactly. So oh, okay. it's made of the gluten-free oats. And um, the sunflower seeds. Gluten-free oats are the same oats from the same plant, grows the same way. Mm -hmm. But uh, most oats are uh, processed where they process wheat, barley, or rye. Okay. And of course, gluten is a protein that's found in wheat, barley, and rye. So there's all kinds of issues with cross-contamination. Because once you throw something like flour in the air, it can stay airborne for up to 24 hours. Really? Absolutely. Isn't okay. that crazy? Yeah, it is. So um, gluten-free oats are processed in manufacturing facilities where they don't process anything that has gluten. In most cases, they're processed in what they consider to be a clean room or a mm -hmm. white room, which means it has no allergens okay. of any kind. I see what you're saying. So it's not that the oats themselves have uh, carry that. Okay, or right. Have that. Exactly. Okay. Got it. Okay. okay, go ahead. So this dough is pretty sticky. I'm just going to warn you. So what you're going to need is you're going to take a little bit of water here, just dip your hands in it, and then you can kind of shake and form these little balls you guys can see okay oh my kids would love Just to like do this. that okay yeah and then you're gonna dip it in this fine little nice powder and then you have these great little bites I pop them in the fridge 
And then I've kept them, I've frozen them. I've made a lot of them at a time just because it's fun. The kids yeah. can make them. They can do this. They can make this themselves. You know, really, it's just adding the ingredients. Pop them in the fridge. And then you can pull them out, throw them in their lunch, a, a healthy, quick snack. Much better, I think, than a granola bar just because it has all the kind of the raw ingredients. And Can I taste it? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And it's got more protein, certainly, than a granola bar. Mm. So um, we're going to make granola next, actually, banana nut granola. Oh, we so. are? Is that, we're making that in the next segment? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, All right. so okay. we'll talk about that, too. But these are huge because they have so much protein, right, Hill? That, oh, yes. my goodness. Lots I'll take a couple of these. These are really... <laughs> Really great. I love the taste because you can taste the chocolate. I mean, they don't taste healthy, in other words. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that doesn't sound weird or it sounds weird. Yeah, but and they don't taste free. healthy. That's the greatest part exactly. of this piece mm -hmm. talking about. So. All right. So, more on the Wellness Expo. There's the recipe right there for the no bake oatmeal energy bites, gluten free, of course. Um, and when we come back, we're making even more goodies and talking more about the expo. So, we'll be right back.